Hello and a very warm welcome. Driver ratings for the Saudi Grand Prix. All 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10 for their weekend. A weekend which saw Max and Leclerc go at it again for a second week in a row. And Max picking up his first win of the season. So yeah, driver ratings, we mark every driver out of 10. Let's get into it. Max, 10. Yeah, qualifying disappointing for a change, done by Sergio Perez, but yeah, he got redemption, he won the race, a big battle with Charles Leclerc, and Max came out on top and won his first race of the season. Sergio Perez, 10. Yeah, first pole in Formula 1, perfect start, leading the race, and he got shafted by the safety car. Perez pitted first. Latifi crashed, everyone got a free pit stop, and that put Perez down to P4, but a confidence boost as he got his first pole, and he was leading the race. Nico Hulkenberg, 5, his first time at Saudi, he did a solid job, no errors, and he's done well filling in for Sebastian Vettel. Lance Stroll, 5, very average, P13 in the race. Had contact with Albon. Albon got the penalty for it. I don't get that. I mean, Stroll gave him no room. Mick Schumacher, 5. Can't really rate Mick as he missed the Grand Prix. He had a massive crash in qualifying. And because of the damage, he missed the race. But the most important, that Mick was safe. Big crash. 33G, I think it was. Yeah. Safety is unbelievable these days. Kevin Magnussen, seven. First time at Saudi, once again in the points. He qualified 10th. He finished 9th. And he's done a very solid job since he came back. Yuki Tsunoda, five. I feel really sorry for Yuki. He missed quali and he missed the race. So AlphaTauri need to get their act together. And give him a car that's reliable. Because the team have let him down big time. He hasn't been able to do quality or the race. Pierre Gasly, 5. I thought Gasly struggled. P9 in quality and P8 in the race. He was dropping back in the race. Apparently he had some issue with the last 30 laps. But yeah, I would say average for Gasly. Esteban Ocon, 9. Yeah, he qualified fifth. Amazing. And then, yeah, he had a mega battle with Alonso. A great battle with Norris. Finished sixth. Managed to get Norris on the line. Great weekend for Ocon. The one move that was too much was where he basically chopped Fernando Alonso. But yeah, apart from that, a great weekend. Fernando Alonso, eight. Now, usually I only give the retirements five, but Alonso was mega. P7 quali, he was having a great race. He got past Ocon. He had a guaranteed P6, and then the car let him down. It was the old Fernando Alonso. Yeah. Carlos Sainz, nine. P3 quali, P3 in the race. Another podium. Uh, was under investigation for a possible penalty. No action. He had an issue before the start of the race. Was lucky to do the full race, to be honest. Charles Leclerc, 10. Hit the wall in practice, too. Qualified second and finished second. An epic battle with Max. Yeah, two races in a row. That could be the new battle this year. Max v Leclerc. Lando Norris, 8. First points of the season for Lando as he finishes P7. And he nearly got Esteban Ocon on the line. An improvement by McLaren, but there was a lot of retirements. Daniel Ricciardo, 5. P12 quality. He then got a free place grid penalty for blocking in Ocon. And then retired later in the race due to no power. Daniel Ricciardo will have his home race next, and he needs that home race. 
George Russell, nine. I give George a nine. He did the best he could this weekend. Um, yeah, he qualified sixth, finished fifth. He beat Lewis Hamilton all weekend. He made no mistakes. And that's the best he could do in the car he had. So, yeah. Lewis Hamilton, five. A shocking qualifying where he was knocked out in Q1. In the race, he was going to be six. But then the pit lane got closed and he got a bit shafted. But yeah, wrong setup and he qualified way down. And already after two rounds, it's looking like Hamilton's going to be struggling to be in the title fight. Guang Yu Zhou, five. Yeah, he doesn't make mistakes, Guang Yu Zhou. Um, very good again. Uh, he got a penalty. He didn't serve the penalty, so he ended up getting a drive through And he finished 11th. Valtteri Bottas, eight. Another one who retired in the race, but... He was in the points, very solid. Since he's gone back to Alpha, well, since he's gone to Alfa Romeo, he looks comfortable. Would have been in the points, but retired. Alex Albon, five. First time he's been at Saudi, uh, he was very close to the points. He's gone down the inside of Lance Straw. Lance Straw's like chopped across him, and Alex Albon has got a free place penalty for Australia. I don't understand this one. I really don't. So, Albon's down the inside. Stroll's on the outside. Stroll's like cut across Albon, not gave him much room. Albon spun him round and Albon has a penalty. I'm shocked by that one. Yeah. I think that's a very harsh penalty. Um, yeah. Nicholas Latifi, zero. Of course it's zero. I mean, this guy, this guy, how has this guy got an F1 seat? Oh, unbelievable. So, he crashed in Abu Dhabi, caused all the carnage and chaos. He crashed in qualifying at Saudi, crashes in the race at Saudi. Yeah, he needs putting out of his misery. He's not good enough at this level. So there we have it, driver ratings. Let's check we got everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One of these times I'm gonna only have nine teams. So there we have it, driver ratings for the Saudi Grand Prix. We go on to Melbourne in two weeks time. And yeah. Overall, after the terror attack, it was a good weekend at Saudi Arabia. It was a safe Grand Prix. They put on a good event. Will F1 return? We wait and see. But, yeah. After the shenanigans of the terror attack and missile attack, I thought Saudi Arabia recovered well. So, fair play to them. Will we return? Let's wait and find out. Adios.